Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Pokemon Shield and the sarcastic adventures of K-Wing, who yeah. just wants to sleep, but his best friend, Hobbs, or whatever, <laughs> wants to be a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go in the grass without any Pokeballs and uh, just a Fire Bunny. And uh, the grass is, well, flammable, so... This will be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Squirrel! Oh my gosh, it's a squirrel! Luke, I told you there were dangerous Pokemon in here. K-Wing has Fire Rabbit. Fire Rabbit. Fire's Ember. Let's see. Burn Squirrel to Ashes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow, it actually didn't really hurt the... Yeah, that squirrel's pretty tough. It literally got hit with a fireball and it's still standing. And uh, I still have no... See, this is why I would like to have Pokeballs. Then I could capture this stupid Pokemon now. But no, I'm probably gonna have to come back here later and, you know, all kinds of stuff. Zelda! Yeah, you better run. Fire Rabbit has beaten Squirrel. You gained some experience for your Pokemon, but you didn't catch a Pokemon, which is the whole point of this game. Oops. Maybe I should have called him Hyper Rabbit. I didn't know he was gonna be bouncing up and down like that. Caffeine Rabbit. Yeah. Hey, bro, what's up? Doing all right there, Score Bunny? I mean, Fire Rabbit? Let's be sure uh, it's in tip-top shape, because you're my rival now, even though we're best friends. Uh, there, now let's push on. Okay, you realize you're run not really doing all that much. <laughs> yeah. Okay, whatevs. I could be sleeping or watching anime, but no, I'm out here with you. This is fun, right? Being in the outdoors? <laughs> this is great. Best friend ever. I'm gonna get rabies, probably. Alright. What in the world? See, I don't like this. It's like they're introducing you to all these Pokemon that you're gonna have to come back and get later. It's like, hey, there's brand new Pokemon. Rather than the 400 that you're used to, we've just made a Hyper Rabbit. So, goodbye, National Dex. Goodbye, 400 Pokemon. And here, have Hyper Rabbit. Enjoy. <laughs> Spaz Rabbit. Spasm Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Aneurysm Bunny. <laughs> Luke, oh my gosh. What, this channel's not for kids. So then... Parents need to be very cautious about the topics you hear on this channel. They are definitely PG, PG-13. Boom! Go! No. Oh yeah. Pokemon gained experience points, because that's what Pokemon do. <laughs> I'm also coming off a very long stream, so I'm kind of a little wiry, people, just so you know. Uh, check out Batman Dark Tomorrow stream if you want to know what's going on. Uh, it was eight hours, so uh, you, you won't be going somewhere very long. Unless you want to skip ahead, which I'll make time codes eventually. Hey, what's up, uh, friend? I mean, rival? Was that Pokemon crying at you, you think? Well, I mean, I did have my bunny rabbit punch it in the face. I, I think Pokemon have emotions, so... If somebody randomly came up to me in the woods and hit me, I think I would cry too. I mean, that that's just common sense, right? Why are you, do I have to wear a hat and you can't? I mean, that, your mom must not love you as much as mine does. Alright, here we go. Wow. It's another squirrel! <laughs> There's only two new Pokemon in these woods. So what should we do to it? Should we burn it? Should we growl at it? We haven't growled yet. I don't know. I want to see the growl. We'll see what growl does. Mm. That's not even a terrifying growl. So what's your monkey like besides being a thug with a uh, little stick? <laughs> and do you actually hit people with the stick yet? Or is it just still in your hair? Um, I poke people with it now. So you do hit people with the <laughs> stick. So it is. I was I right. I mean, why would I have a stick without using it? Yeah. It's a thug, uh, thug, what, what is it, a monkey? Monkey thug? He's definitely a little monkey, he's Grookle. Mm -hmm. Wait, did I get the wrong Grokey. one? Grokey, Grokey the thug. Gro Grokey. Grokey, whatever. Uh, firepower. I think they want you to pick Score Bunny at the beginning because he's, like, basically destroying all these other Pokemon because of his fire ability, that's what I'm really thinking. Also, I love fire Pokemon better anyway, I think they so. want you to pick the the Pokemon that most speaks to you and is cute because I think that they have Pokemon with three different um, personality types so you have the really shy little tiny shy like water Pokemon and then you have the cute monkey Pokemon that's mischievous and then you have the really hyperactive rabbit Pokemon yeah 
I, mean, I don't have as much energy as you, so I had to pick the cute little monkey. I'm, I'm just concerned, though, about one thing. I mean, look, look at how this kid's pants are. You can see that his ankles are exposed, yet he's walking through tall grass. I mean, what do ticks look like in a Pokemon universe? Are they, like, the size of deer ticks, or are they bigger? I mean, I'd be worried about Poison Ivy, but... Oh, Poison Ivy, too. Look, even your friend has some sense to have his uh, pants come down a little lower on his leg. Come on, K-Wing. The sheep might be in real trouble. Yeah, I was just going to say, because his family has more money, they can get him pants. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so because I'm poor, look, I even have a patch on my knee. <laughs> I'm a poor kid. <laughs> hey, K-Wing, not trying to ditch me in here, are you? You're the one with the Pokeballs. Why would I ditch you? If anything, you could ditch here, ditch me, shank me, and steal my fire rabbit, and uh, then you could be on your way to not being a side character anymore. Look, I mean, look at the thog. Look at how thick it is in here. I mean, there, there's lots of possibilities, you know? This is mad crazy, yo. Can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Uh, look at that face. They're going to be attacked by a sheep. Yeah, something is... That's no sheep! Oh my gosh! What in the... Hello, dinner. Shield. Whatever he says. A question mark appeared. Fire rabbit! Yeah, this is this is gonna be bad. I feel like this is very ominous. Let's try yelling at it. Growl at it! Show you a boss, man. This is fire rabbit. It has no effect. Oops. Uh he's fixed his gaze upon you. What? The move had no effect on it. Well, I mean, we did growl at it. Now let's try using fire on it. We're dead. The move has no effect. Oh, no. Now it's angry. Well, now we know where all the mist came from. Yeah. K-Wing, I can't see anything. Can you? You still have your score bunny, right? What? what? What do you mean do I still have my score? Did you just try to take my Pokeball? What? No. I like my fire monkey thing. Okay, this is not going well. The move has no effect. He's actually a plant monkey, but... Will, will, you, will you stop with... I can't see. I can't see anything! What, is Leon mm -hmm. gonna come save us or something? Whoa! Oh, I guess we need someone to help us out. I don't know what's going on. They're not the brightest guys. What's happening? Hopefully so somebody didn't like yank my score bunny while I was a, uh, you know. Uh oh, I don't see the bunny anywhere. And Hops looks fine. Ah, K-Wing! What is it? Oh, they, uh, there's the brother. Well, Lee, how did you manage to find your way here? Oh, it's Lee. It's the plot, little brother. How did you manage to get here, man? Your pants? With directions, you always get lost. What? Oh, uh, that's nice to hear from you, little brother. Who worried... Who had me worried sick. I just used the GPS in my really cool cape. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came looking for both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that sheep thing. Huh. You mean that? <laughs> Meh. Oh, sorry. Ah, the little chap's just fine. <laughs> Chap, really, Leon? Mm -hmm. Though all you had, uh, all of you had fainted by the time I found you here, so no, I did not fight that legendary Pokemon that you'll probably catch later in this game. Mm -hmm. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come here all the same and ignore the rules of the town, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, H Hop, Hope, whatever your name is. Mm. Well, at least that sheep's all right. Yeah, K-Wing? I thought we had, uh, uh, uh... We had it when the weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't for nothing. Attacked by a mad Pokemon? <laughs> what are you talking about? It seemed a loads of stronger... It seemed... Oh, that's Hop. It seemed a load stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And I just had this sort of presence about it. Uh, our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, 
Well, not to be that guy, but your Pokemon are what, level six? You just encountered a legendary Pokemon? You're like the buzzing of flies on its tail. Uh, it seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say lives in the slumbering forest. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe you two one day could be the ones to reveal the truth. I'm scared of that legendary Pokemon, so I'm just going to continue to ignore it and leave the forest. For now on, let's simply get out of this freaky place. You're all right now. I'm here with you. And my amazing Charizard. Even if we did get an earful from Lee... Wait, what? You didn't get lectured? There was no lecture. <laughs> what an experience! This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend as a side character. I guess it depends what tone of voice you, you have Lee speaking in. I don't know. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to the uh, Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Yeah. Even worse than Lean just did. The slang and I don't know the the. The different types of sayings that they have uh, are things I've never heard. Like, I'm pants with directions. My mom will go spare. Yeah. Wait! There's a doorknob on that door! Look! 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 Yeah, on that one. So we know how that door opens, then how does this one open? <sighs> I never thought about that. I don't know. That makes no sense. Mom, I'm here to hit you up for money. This is a robbery. Thanks, Mom. Ah. Well, now, isn't Score Bunny just a sweetheart? It's called Fire Rabbit, Mom. I'm sorry, whatever you call your little friend. And yes, I've heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Such a boomer, Mom. I, I didn't know what I was like. I was going to say, what did you say? <laughs> Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Oh, yeah. Robbery complete. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that score? I'm sorry, Fire Rabbit will battle to the very end for you. So don't go pushing the poor deer too hard now. Now, I understand, Mom, that you had your Pokemon sacrifice itself for, you know, your grocery list, but I'm going to be nicer to Fire Rabbit. You're a horrible Pokemon trainer. Ah. See? Score Bunny agrees. And you, Fire Rabbit, look after my little K-Wing, won't you? <laughs> Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east is west. Home is best. I mean, east or west, home is... I need more money. <sighs> Looks like your sweet score bunny might be running on empty. Let's have you rest up. Shall we? All right, so we rested. We're tan. We're good. Give us more money. As long as you have Pokemon at your side and the energy to carry onward, you'll naturally find that you always have a smile on your face. Okay, whatever. Bye, Mom! Bye, honey! Okay, so... Uh, I still have no Pokeballs. Let's go to this research lab. Maybe they'll give me some Pokeballs, and then I've got some grass to go to. Oh yeah, people, <laughs> yeah. just before I forget, my series is gonna be totally different than Amber's streams of this game. Um, I'm a sarcastic, witty person, so if you're bothered by that, well, enjoy her streams. Also, I'm going to be catching a lot of Pokemon off camera and leveling them up because I'm not very good at Pokemon. See my Fire, Moon, whatever it's called, Pokemon Moon or Sun <laughs> series and the other Pokemon game we did before then. I did not grow up with Pokemon. I was in high school when the first game came out. So that just gives you an idea of the difference between me as a YouTuber and all the other people looking at this game. High school was the first Pokemon game. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh this is gosh. quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. I guess I'll probably train up my Grokey Thug a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself up to the building with the purple roof uh, with the great red and white ball on it. Mark on the front, so you can't miss it. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. You might get some free balls and stuff. Me, I'm gonna get ahead of you because I don't wanna be a side character. 
<laughs> he always tries to get ahead of you. Oh my gosh, there's <laughs> sheep in my way. Wouldn't want to wake up the sweet sleeping Wooloo, right? Better to take the long way around. Score Bunny, use Ember on the sheep! <laughs> no, don't hurt us! Can I actually have the... I liked how the Pokemon in uh, Sun and Moon used to come out and follow me, though. Or wait, no, that wasn't that. That was that one Pokemon game we just played. What was it oh. called? Um... <gasps> a Pokeball! The one with, um... Wait, that's... The... I thought it was a Pokeball, too, the first Dang one. it! It's a potion. So... Oh, look, it's... Look at you, Peach... Pikachu, or that one Switch game with Pikachu. I forgot what it was called. Hey, you, Pikachu? I don't know. Oh, uh, I couldn't remember. That Pokemon game we did last year. But it, it had Eevee and Pikachu in it. Yeah, and you always had a Pokemon you could take out and run around with you. I don't could... like imprisoning the Pokemon. I feel horrible. Or they could climb on your little shoulders. All right, I want the long ray. I mean, I could have just... Their wool is made of, like, you know, soft material. It would burn pretty easily, so, I mean... It would make them move if I could just take Score Bunny out. But no, of course the game is like, Nope, we're not going to let you do that because that would just be wrong. Why would it be wrong? I'm not saying that they would, like, burn to crisp or anything like that. I'm just saying <laughs> they'd catch on fire, they'd run around a little bit, and then I'd be able to walk through no probs. Wait, why is Charmander just standing? Is that the champion, Charizard? Uh, I think so. Oh, no, they're saying champion. Yeah, these yeah, people, that's, that's I haven't the one. been able to talk to those people. Like, they don't, they're just standing there. Yeah, they're NPCs, Amber. They don't, they they don't, don't do anything. They don't respond. Is this what I think it is? No, this is a train station. Welcome to the Pokemart. Ooh, may I help you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here to buy stuff. I don't see any Pokeballs. You're lame. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you after you realize that you're very snarky for a teenager? Huh, guess what? Teenager? So that means snark. Pops. <laughs> Bye! Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I mean, she dresses your son up like a little thug. I mean, look at this. He's wearing a hat. Does this even look cold outside? <laughs> I mean, it's like he's part of a Pokemon gang or something. I mean, look at this. And look at this guy. This guy's a gym leader? I mean, wow. But Luke, I wear hats a lot. Well, I know, but you're a girl. What are you doing oh, here? Okay. Also, why does he have, like, I just noticed that. Is he wearing, like, Pikachu, like, <laughs> things? Or is that a crown? It definitely looks like he's wearing little ears. Well done! You've reached your, ha, reached your goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did far... You did a far sight better than I did my first time around. I use old people slang. I'm hopeless <laughs> with directions. You know what? I'm not going to make fun of the directions thing because I too, Leon, am very bad at directions. But I'm also very annoyed that you're named Leon because you are no Leon. When I think Leon, I think Resident Evil. I also think of uh, Kingdom Hearts. And you are nowhere near as cool as that. Also, you're wearing shorts and leotards. Just choose pants, man! <laughs> oh my gosh. So, um, how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you. <laughs> my I, I, I heard you, K-Wing. I heard your innermost thoughts and I'm not gonna cry. I'm a big champion, man. He's trying to start a new style. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I know, I'm I'm sure glad I've got my Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now go in! Come Charizard! Oh. Oh. We, we need to visit the Pokemon Center for tissues. I mean, this guy looks like a corporate shill though. Look at all the- you can see everything on his back. Like, look at all that. Maybe he really needs money though. Did you see where he lives? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, now I see. He's wearing the... Every Pokemon trainer gets a hat. Like, not like a, you know, weird winter hat, but like a baseball <laughs> oh, cap. Oh, yeah. He's not wearing ears. That's he's just, just He's just wearing it like a freak. So it looks like he's wearing a crown. That's how full of himself this guy is. <gasps> Maybe he drew a crown on his cap. I don't know. I've got to give it to the Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Leon is cool, though. Bulwark. He's awesome. Aww! Kawaii! Well, that just melts my stone cold heart. <laughs> Your heart is stone cold. I'm gonna come back and steal this Pokemon. <laughs> oh, what is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests! Whoa! 
That is some professor. Not used to this. I can hear you. <laughs> ah, good to see you, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and uh, this is trainer Sonia. I've asked her out several times, but she's friend-zoned me. What can I say about her other than that? Well, I like the way she cooks. She made food you can gobble down in a flash, meaning it's edible. Ah, what kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? We only became rivals because you said you wouldn't be my girlfriend. I mean, <clears throat> uh, this is Sonia. It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. I'm getting mixed signals from you, Sonia. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. Oh, I see what they did there. So she's not... She, I would have said that would be cool if she was a professor, but okay, game. Yeah, it would have. This is K-Wing, my newest rival. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? Ruff. Goodbye, friend Pokemon. I'm going to go play with the dog. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. <sighs> well, not to be that guy, but if you two would just stop beating around the bush and get married already, he might become a better guy. I'm just throwing it out there. Have you seen his outfit? Well, that's true. Oh, <laughs> looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Where did that thing come from? Is it... Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. <laughs> that said, Leon still gets lost, so... <laughs> oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Actually, I have another question for you. You keep talking about Leon so much, but he said you friend-zoned him. Are you just... Nah, never mind. Can ah, we, sure, let's go Can with we that. talk about something that's not Leon? Thank you very much. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. You obtained the Pokedex. And no, it's not the National Dex. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Gran what? Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. All right, so who do I need to uh, shake down to get some Pokeballs? Anyone? No? Okay. Patience, young one. I want to catch Pokemon. That's the whole point of this game. Pokeballs. It would have been really cool if she was the professor, to be honest. Yeah, it would have. It would have been changed things up a little bit because, you know, Professor Oak passed away, unfortunately. So the uh, there is no more Professor Oak. I believe they retired his uh, character out of respect of the actor who Aww. is no longer around, which is really sweet. That way, you know, it's like uh, yeah. people who grew up with Professor Oak can just say sayonara. The fuels. These plants take a great deal of care, but they all seem to be flourishing. And uh, just a reminder, guys, uh, this Pokemon series will be a lot slower than Amber Streams or any other YouTuber you're watching because we cover a lot of games here. The series that'll wrap up the fastest of the new games we're covering probably going to be Star Wars, which uh, comes out tonight at uh, 7 o'clock. So if you're looking for that, there you go. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop by. Uh, I mean, no, I'm not. I can walk where I want. You just left the Pokemon Lab, right? That means you got a Pokedex. Not to be confused with the National Dex. Oh, I'm triggering some people. I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Have some Pokeball. Oh, wait, nope. Just have a potion. You got a potion. <laughs> oh my God. No Pokeballs for you. You really want the Pokeballs, don't you? You're now an hour into the game and you still haven't caught your first Pokemon. <laughs> uh -huh. It's yeah. a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP, its points are too low. Or run all the way back to your mom's house and do it for free. You can even use mm -hmm. potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Uh. And that guy made me second. After I read what that guy said, 
I started talking to every single human being, and they all said really weird, not very interesting. Do you have any Pokeballs? That rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research Lab. But if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at home down the far end of Route 2. <sighs> I'm going to steal stuff from your fridge. I can't even open the door. What is this, fingerprinted? Man, you people are paranoid about people coming into your house. This isn't Hyrule, you know. You don't have to worry about me breaking your pot. Ooh, a pot! They're bolted to the floor. Yeah. I can see that. Oh, there's hops again. Got your Pokédex from Sonya? Uh, it's time you meet lots of different Pokémon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokémon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we got Pokémon Centers. Do they sell Pokéballs? Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. I hope Come on, K-Wing. Bet you've never been inside one. Well, I hardly ever leave my house. I just use Amazon. You're the Philistine here. <laughs> I can have everything ordered directly to my house. Oh my gosh. Level with me, K Wing K. This is your first time at a Pokemon Center, isn't it? Sure. Whatever. Well, then the future champions got you covered. Wait, your brother's here? Ooh. First things first, oh. talk to the lady at the counter if you want your Pokemon healed. And Pokemon you catch are kept in computers like this one. Don't ask me how, though. After all, you can only bring six Pokemon with you on the road in your party. The potions they sell at the Pokemart got me out of a real spot. Why is that person motioning their hands like they're speaking when Hops is the one talking? That's stupid. <laughs> I don't know. If you two kids are uh, Pokemon trainers, you might want to... Hey! I'm the side character here, Pops! I'll do the talking and explaining to my friend here! Anyway, <laughs> oh uh, we're already good, though, so thanks, dude. I'm heading to Route 2, K-Wing. Come find me when you're done here. Oh, my God. Wow, you people are so rude. No wonder my brother says things about you. Got some Pokemon questions? No. I got some questions about that shirt, oh, though. Luke, um, right there, that guy, if you name your Pokemon the wrong name on accident, you can get the name changed. He can change the name for you. This guy? Oh, the guy with the yellow tie that you just I don't really to. want to talk to. The, his shirt is blinding. Oh, he can help you change names. I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. They'll fully heal your Pokemon as many times as you need, and for free! Well, I mean, did you ever wonder what they're doing to the Pokemon? They could be <laughs> chipping them, or maybe they could be installing cameras to, like, watch everything you're doing. I mean, nothing is for free, lady! Everything is a conspiracy! I just thought they were nice! Conspiracy! <laughs> Welcome to the Pokemart! How may I help you? I'd like to buy some Pokeballs! Why? I see the Pokeballs on the shelf. Luke, look it. They're right there. <laughs> the Pokeballs are on the shelf. Right Why there. won't you let me catch Pokemon? <laughs> what am I doing? How are you able to Whee! do a, like, ballet twirl? Yeah! I got my pose then. Cool. Okay. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? No. We hope to see you again! Where do I find Pokeballs, lady? <sighs> Actually, I didn't talk to the Gene guy. You didn't talk to that one guy. Yo! It's true that wild Pokemon can be scary, but once you become your allies, there's something more reliable. Where do I get Pokeballs? I actually like your character's hat. It looks like it's wool. <laughs> this month's birthday horoscope is spot on! Die. Hmm, do you want me to tell you your fortune, too? If it involves Pokeballs, yes, but I don't like you, Sinnoh. Oh, okay. Well, let me know if you change your mind. Yeah, not gonna happen. Bye. What about now? No! I can do it now. No, we're good. Ooh, a clothing store. Time to waste my allowance. Oh, great. Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find, young man? Do you sell Pokeballs? Uh, we sell clothes here. Do you sell pants? Because mine don't... <laughs> oh, I see. You have to move over that way to 
to the pants category. Oh, look at how much money all this is. All right, so we and got... Also, ooh. In the next town, they have better stuff. I don't know. I kind of like that. White hoodie. Why do I never let my pants just... Just get shorts for crying out loud, then? Skinny trousers? I mean, it's better than the ripped-up jeans he's wearing. Right? Oh. Wait, he can have socks? They still don't... He still has his ankles bare, though. Wait. No, way they don't. There we go. Some normal socks. There we go. Yeah, Navy, Navy socks. Yes. It actually... 390... Thank you very much. Would you like to put it on? Yes. I want my ankles to stop being shown. Thank you. Don't you want, like, different... Yeah, if... You... Where's loafers? What... Am I supposed to be, like... Oh, my gosh. What is that term again? Old? Hipster! I'm a hipster! Oh. You kind of do... But, Luke... What? I think they have cooler cl Like... If you want to save your money for more, the more towns you get to, the better clothes are. Oh, I'm just triggering people. Do they have a regular baseball uh, cap, or do I have to wear like this weird knit? They do I have do, to wear a hat? They will have a baseball cap later on in the game, but not right now. I have gloves. Everything in this store. So you can dress like a mobster. Everything in this store is gonna be like basically picture this store is. I'm gonna turn him into a punk. This is a small town store that has hardly anything. Yeah, we're going. We're gonna be a punk. <laughs> gonna have a black top. Yeah. I don't. Oh my gosh. I wonder if you can get sunglasses. No, we're fine. We're joining Team Rocket. Luke, you should do bright, <laughs> bright orange pants. Why would I do bright orange pants? I have I to play this game too. I don't know. Someone we know did that. Remember that one YouTube where we talked to the and crazy they like, guy? Yeah. They were, they were like, we we're like, wow, where did you get those pants? And he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, I dyed them this color myself. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> there we go. If you're gonna be a hero, you gotta stick out. <laughs> All right, so we're uh, going with You're this. You're wearing white pants after Labor Day. I am. I'm wearing oh, white pants. Wait, and... Labor Day is is it the? Fall? I like I like the blue. I like yeah, the blue the jacket. Yeah, good. Mm. Just blowing all our money because he's mad that he doesn't have pokeballs. <laughs> well, I mean. Uh, all right, time to complete our old man uh, persona. Oh no! Do they have sunglasses because I, I feel like I'm rebellious. Why? <laughs> no sunglasses yet. Fine, I'll be a punk. Give me some some biker <laughs> gloves. <laughs> oh my gosh, Luke. Why is it that your sleeves don't actually go down to your wrists, though? Because I take after my dad in terms of fashion, so I'm just not... <laughs> Black gloves works. I'm, I'm training to be a member of Team Rocket, so I'm going down the dark <laughs> oh path my. now. Well, why the white pants, though? I just... Because. It just <laughs> It shows people that I'm crooked. There we go. Black hat. I don't know. It's like all the pants in this game like kind of look like they're just very tight. I mean, seriously, he looks like he's trying to be one of Santa's elves. <laughs> I mean, it's... I understand if there's winter outside, but I mean, that's not... Whatever. No, not navy. Would it, that, you're going black cap, my friend. Unless, what does blue look like? Well, you could... Well, that looks kind of like your... No. It kind of looks like black goes with everything. There we go. There you go. There we go. There we go. So people asking how to customize your character. There you go. <laughs> you too can turn your character into a thug. You sh no, I'm not done shopping because. Well, you what if you want to customize your character well though? <sighs> black. <sighs> You're gonna wear all black. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, what people don't understand is I'm the mobster of this town. So I mean, you know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go find uh, Pokeballs. Wish me luck. I'll be back for next month's rent. Good luck. Thank <laughs> oh my you. Gosh. Ouch! Don't make me destroy you. Oh, listen, K Wing. I've been thinking. Whoa, what happened to you, man? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I didn't bring my wallet with me, so <laughs> if you're a Pokemon trainer now, you you might want to try hard at the gym challenge, right? Uh, the gym challenge. The gym challenge, dude! The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. Aha, sponsorships. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff, so... I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if I could, she could help me or something. 
Gotta take part two. Uh, proper rivals just... Why? You're, you're dressed in all black, man. You're freaking me out here. I don't know. As a proper rival, uh, it's just a thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. And you're like staring at me and not talking. I mean, getting really nervous here. Oh this is gosh. a game for children. Keeps you motivated, right? Uh, the professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2. Um, but she probably has Pokeballs, so uh, <laughs> let's, let's go there, man. I hope you get your Pokeballs. Just don't shake me, man. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh. Where's my Pokeballs? Do you have Pokeballs? I look like an old man. No. Oh my god. Yeah. You're wearing the same outfit as him. Quiet, you. Oh my god. The loafers were a hand me down, okay? You're the same outfit as him. Can't help that the loafers were, uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna become a member of Team Rocket. Is that even possible? <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be so. Over here, K Wing! That would be kind of cool if that was a choice. Alright, uh, K Wing? Um, it's time we filled in our teams a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm here to teach you how! Where did you come from? Uh, I was secretly lurking. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. He was hiding in the where, bush. Where did you come from? <laughs> he was there for four hours. Uh, that's not important. Every Pokemon has got a type or two, which can make it good against some opponents, but poor against others. That's the reason you'll want to catch different Pokemon to cover one another's weaknesses. Now, let's have a champion time as I show you how it's done. You didn't tell me where I could even buy Pokemon. Really, I have to battle a sheep? Yep. Go out, Rokadi! This way is how a real champion catches Pokemon. Wait, I have to play as you? Oh. No, he's just showing you what to do. I know I need Pokeballs, you jerk. Where do I buy them? Let me guess, you're gonna catch that woolly. He's showing you what you could do if you had a po Pokeball. Some of us aren't wealthy like you, Mr. <laughs> Walking Endorsement. Where do I get Pokeballs? Typically! Maha! I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon! The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainers. Wouldn't you say? You obtained 20 Pokeballs! Yeah! You put the Pokeballs in your bag's Pokeballs pocket! The Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too! Oh well, wait, that wasn't my brother. And of course, they get experience points from battle, so take on other trainers you meet along the way. Okay, your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Uh, he is the champion. All right, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. All right, you know what? We passed a bunch of good Pokemon, so later. I can't even with those like white pants and oh my gosh. He stands out, doesn't he, Amber? Uh, Ooh, I saw some shiny. That's not always a good thing, but yay! Yeah. Got to revive. <laughs> I'll probably change him to blue pants. I'm just know. curious, now that we got Pokeballs, does that mean they're actually going to sell Pokeballs at the store? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, it might be an unlocked feature. You better have Pokeballs! Ha! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Luke! Yes! Oh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of catching of Pokeballs. Ooh, I got some Premier Balls, too. Wow, you got them on the house. Wait, I think if you buy 10, you get, yeah, you get Premier Balls. Let me see. Yep. Every 10 Every you 10. buy, you get one Premier. Okay, bye! Everybody gets one. I'm gonna go show Mom how villainous I can be! <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi there. <sighs> Yeah, I know, I didn't go the same way as my friend, because we're not really friends. He doesn't realize that while he <laughs> oh is a big fan of his brother, I am a fan of Team... Wait for it! Rocket! <laughs> yeah! 
<laughs> You're so bad. You're such a bad. It's good to be bad. <laughs> I'm gonna catch me a squirrel. Oh my god. Now I know people just want me to throw the Pokeball, but we need to teach our Pokemon a lesson first. So, Score Bunny, rough him up a little bit. Ember attack! Mm. Ooh. Didn't really do that much damage to him yet. He just whipped his tail. At I you. saw him whip his tail at me like that. All right, all right. Let's see how you do with a tackle attack then. Find you. Just don't die. You have to go inside of a cramped little pokeball after all. So. Ooh. Ow. All right. He came, he came at you, Luke. Fire rabbit, use tackle again. Ow. This is probably. Um, yep. I'm gonna throw my pokeball on him now. Know. He's weak enough. You think so? Yep! Time to put you inside a Pokeball, fool! The Thug K-Wing threw a Pokeball, and... <laughs> yeah! You caught the squirrel! The Squavet ah, whatever. captured. Squavet squirrel. Fire Rabbit gained some levels. It was definitely a squirrel. Hyper Bunny, Hyper Bunny, Hyper Bunny. You've got the data on this Pokemon! Check it out! Sorry. I just got punched in the knee by my wife. Would you like to give this thing a name? <laughs> yes, I would. Oh, it's a girl. How do you spell squirrel? <laughs> R. Another R. I. E. And then I don't know if it's two L's or one. Well, we're gonna make up our own name. It's Squirrely. <laughs> okay. Alright. No, always change it later. Squirrely's been added to the party! Yeah, you can change it with yellow tie, man. Uh-oh. Ooh. Uh-oh! This is the whole point of the game I've been waiting for. Rickety's Unnerve. Hi there! Unnerve. Don't die, okay? Because you have to be cramped inside a Pokeball. I feel like your bunny is wasting all his energy just running in place. Waiting to... You would think so. <laughs> like, I feel like if you just let him run in place for an hour without fighting at all, he'd just be exhausted. Oof. He's not red yet, so I don't think I can capture him. Well, the fire didn't do too much damage to him, so let's see. Hopefully it won't kill him. You, to be honest, these are such low-level ones that you probably could have done it at yellow. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I didn't. I didn't mean to, to go that that far with that. that. I, I I I destroyed so many Pokemon. I'm just gonna stay out of it. You can. Do we're gonna we're gonna quick attack them again. Yeah, once they get like less than a third their health, then they're usually, especially when they're low level ones. Fire Rabbit, use quick attack. Now. Beating on my bunny, yo. I don't know if this is hmm. enough. I mean, you could try hitting him again. I don't know. Maybe Fire Rabbit's too strong now. Fire Rabbit's too Ooh. strong. Fire Rabbit is OP. Fire Rabbit's OP. Whoops. Well, I'm gonna get that stupid bird. So I mean, it's just there. It is. See, there's another one. We're gonna get it down to yellow, and then we'll try throwing the ball again. So quick attack hurts it quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's unnerved. Well, your face is unnerved, so, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. Quick attack! Mm. Eat this! Oh, wow. That really... Okay. It uses stare. Mm, didn't really hurt me at all, but okay. And uh, we're going to go classic tackle. This will bring you to the yellow, and then I'm going to throw a Pokeball at your face. Oh! Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that's gonna work out well. Yay! I mean, I get so much energy just watching this Pokemon bounce up and down. Why does Score Bunny have a Band-Aid on its nose? I didn't do anything to Score Bunny. I think uh, Hops tried to take Score Bunny. Yeah, I think so. I think he did. I think he's trying to take him down permanently. I think he's taking this whole rival thing a little bit too far. <laughs> He's like, oh, we'll, we'll stop our rivalry. I'll stop it forever. All right, Squirrely learned bite. Yay! 
Woohoo! I don't have a name for this bird, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. I like the name, so I'm good with it. Would you like to name it? No. Aww. Can't think of a cool name for it. Out of my way. I need to go back home and show mom my fashion choice. Whee! Excuse me, squirrels. Yeah, you better run. Look how terrified you guys are. That's what I say. And, uh, it doesn't take too long to get home, actually. I'm gonna go show mom my choice of fashion. See what she says. Think she's gonna say anything interesting? Um, I'm not sure what she's gonna say. I guess we'll find out. Mom! Looks like your sweet score bunny might be running on empty. Let's have you rest up. That works for me. As long as you have Pokemon at your side and the energy to carry onward, you'll naturally find that you always have a smile on your face. Yeah, okay, whatever, Mom. All right, so anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for this episode. I'm going to catch some Pokemon uh, off camera um, in the area that we just were. I mean, you saw me battle those Pokemon before, so don't really worry about it. And then we'll be uh, starting up uh, right on our way to the professor's house next time for our third episode. So come back for that uh, tomorrow. Check out Star Wars The Fallen Order later tonight around 7 p.m. And I hope you guys are enjoying my Pokemon series from a different po point of view and Amber's uh, Pokemon stream thing. Yeah! All right. God bless and happy gaming, people. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. See ya!